So, the cloud. Think of all the products and services with cloud in their names. There's iCloud, CloudMe, CloudMate, CloudOn, SoundCloud, Adobe Creative Cloud, Amazon Cloud Drive, RealPlayer Cloud, Verizon Cloud, and so many more. Oh, and let's not forget things like Dropbox, Evernote, Google Docs, Netflix, and thousands of others that emphasize their connection to the cloud. It seems like this word cloud, or even just a symbol of the cloud, is supposed to have this magic power that makes us all go, ooh, how modern and shiny and internet-y. If it uses the cloud, it must be good. Please take my data and my money. But look, cloud is just an overused marketing term. And a lot of people, including some of those trying to sell you cloud stuff, don't even know what it means. Well, it's sort of a metaphor for the internet, but it's also sort of something different. And nobody wants to explain what makes it useful or why you should care. They just want to keep repeating that word cloud until you buy whatever it is cloud that they're selling cloud. Will it make my life better? Is it safe? Is it worth the money? Hey, hey, cloud, 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 cloud. I'm Joe Kissel, author of Take Control of the Cloud. I was tired of listening to all the hype, and I thought it was high time somebody explained once and for all what this whole cloud thing is all about, in plain English for ordinary, non-technical people. That's what I aim to do in my new book. It starts with answers to some of the most common questions about the cloud, like what it is, why we call it that, what you can do with it, what's great about the cloud, and what's not so great. Then I delve into a bunch of cloudy capabilities you may run across, like storing and sharing files online, syncing personal data, using cloud apps for productivity or entertainment. I spend quite a lot of time discussing privacy and security, which is a really big deal in the cloud. I even talk about something called a personal cloud, which is a fancy way of saying you control the equipment used to provide your own online services. This book is an easy read, even if you're not a computer geek. You'll learn enough to make smart decisions about which cloud services to use and how to stay safe. And you'll sound really smart and interesting at parties. Take Control of the Cloud is a $10 ebook. Available in all the usual formats, PDF, EPUB, and Mobi, so you can read it on just about any device. And the information in the book is platform neutral, so it will help you whether you use a Mac or a Windows PC, an Android or iOS device, a set-top box, or pretty much anything else. If you feel like the cloud has gotten out of control, let me cut through the haze for you. Buy this book today and take control of the cloud. Cloud.